Now the goal who's played 20 minutes tonight hasn't scored. Um, not good for the Cavs. I'm down by 12 right now. Uh, about to be the fourth quarter. Cleveland, I feel bad for you. And you need to get back in this game and tie it and at least win it to take it to game seven. Come on, Cavs. Make this a game. Take it to a game seven. I don't want to see the Cavs lose this game six and lose a championship without going to seven games at least. But LeBron cannot do it all. He does not have much help at all. Love is out. Irving is out. I feel bad for Cleveland and the Cleveland fans for sure tonight. Uh... LeBron just got fouled. They're still down by like 12. Probably more. Over 12 they're down by. Going into the fourth quarter. Anyways, I'm not here to talk about basketball. This video is my ROH Ring of Honor Best in the World Pay-Per-View Predictions video. Best in the World is... June 19th on pay-per-view this Friday night. Ring of Honor has a pay-per-view. It's called Best in the World. It's from New York City. Check it out if you're a big, big Ring of Honor fan or a big wrestling fan. Check out Best in the World on pay-per-view. Here are some of, well, not some. Here are all of my predictions for the pay-per-view. Remember, it's Friday night, June 19th on pay-per-view. It's not Sunday night. It's this Friday, four nights away. Anyways, first match I'm going to talk about and predict is CNC Wrestle Factory. Caprice Coleman and Cedric Alexander taking on War Machine, tag team of Hanson, and some other dude. I forgot his name. So War Machine versus C Cedric Alexander and Caprice Coleman. I remember Caprice Coleman from NWA Wildside. In 2002 I saw him there. He's a veteran. He's been around for a long time. And uh, Cedric Alexander. Great athlete. Great young talent. I pick... To go over my prediction is C and C Wrestle Factory. I I predict Caprice Coleman and Cedric Alexander will win that tag match. Up next you got Silas Young versus Dalton Castle. <coughs> Excuse me. Dalton Castle versus Silas Young. I predict Dalton Castle will win. Up next, tag team title match. Tag team titles on the line. Ring of Honor. Tag team championships on the line. No disqualification match. You got the addiction, the tag team champions. Christopher Daniels and... Kazarian, The Addiction, taking on Red Dragon, the team of Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Tag team titles up for grabs, and it's no DQ. I predict The uh, Addiction will retain the tag team titles. The Addiction is my pick. So they will stay the Ring of Honor tag team champions of the world. Up next, Mark Briscoe with ODB versus Donovan Dijak, Dijak or Di, I can't, whatever, Donovan Dijak, Dijest, whatever his name is, his first name is Donovan, his manager, he'll be with Truth Martini, so Mark Briscoe has ODB by his side, 
Donovan has Truth Martini by his side. I predict that Donovan Dijak will win. If I said his last name wrong, I apologize. Donovan will win with Truth Martini. Up next, tag team match. Matt Seidel and ACH, great tag team in Ring of Honor, taking on the decade, BJ Whitmore and Adam Page. I predict the decade will win. Up next, six-man tag team action. The Kingdom, Adam Cole, Mike, Michael Bennett, and Matt Taven. The Kingdom with the First Lady of ROH, Maria Canillis. Taking on the Bullet Club, AJ Styles, and the Young Bucks. Representing the Bullet Club against the Kingdom. Six-man tag. That should be a great match. Should be very good. And, uh... There's going to probably be a lot of, lot of high spots from the Young Bucks. A lot of super kicks from the Young Bucks. We're probably going to see a super kick party. Uh, Young Bucks, I, uh, they're okay. They're a great team, but they don't sell enough. They don't sell moves from other people much. And uh, I have a problem with them. Just their wrestling style. I kind of got a problem with it. They do too many super kicks. All the stuff they do really. It has no meaning. When you do it over and over and over. And guys are kicking out over and over and over. But whatever. That's a Young buck style. It's 2015. It's not 1988 anymore. I predict the Bullet Club will win the team of AJ Styles, the current New Japan Pro Wrestling IWGP Heavyweight Champion. And I predict, along with AJ Styles, the Young Bucks, the Bullet Club will win the six-man tag against the Kingdom. Up next is three-way triple threat match. Three-way dance, triple threat match, whatever you want to call it. The winner will be the new number one contender for the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship. You have Moose taking on Michael Elgin, taking on Roderick Strong. Winner gets a future Ring of Honor World Heavyweight title shot. I predict... It will be Moose. Moose will win the triple threat match. And he will become the new ROH number one contender for the ROH World Heavyweight title. Moose will win. I believe Moose will win. Main event is Jay Briscoe versus Jay Lethal. Two guys... That started with Ring of Honor. I believe Jay Lethal started in 2003 or 4 in Ring of Honor. And then of course he left, went to TNA for a couple years. And now he's back. He's been back. He's been the TV champ for a very long time. He's uh, had a great run as the Ring of Honor television champion. He's been a great champion. He's a hell of a heel. He's a great wrestler, and uh, same with Jay Briscoe. I believe he started in Ring of Honor in 2002. I could be wrong. Maybe he started in 03 or 02. I'm not sure. But Jay Briscoe, ROH World Heavyweight Champion, going on for two years now. It's a very long world title run to be a world champion for two years. In professional, <clears throat> in professional wrestling, to be a world heavyweight champ for two years is damn impressive. Very impressive. So, Jay Lethal is defending the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship. Jay Lethal. 
is the World TV champ, defending the World TV title against Jay Briscoe and his ROH World Heavyweight title. It's title for title, champion versus champion. Both titles are on the line. It's the main event of best in the world. And I predict that the World TV Champion Jay Lethal will become the new Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion. Jay Lethal will do it, I believe, this Friday at ROH Best in the World Pay-Per-View 2015. Cavs are still losing. I don't think they're going to come back. And the Warriors are going to become the new NBA champs. Hopefully I'm wrong. And I want to see the Cavs come back and win this game 6. But don't forget, if you're a hardcore Ring of Honor fan, if you enjoy Ring of Honor, if you like Ring of Honor... And if you're a hardcore pro wrestling fan, this is for you. Best in the world pay-per-view is for you. If you enjoy pro wrestling, Ring of Honor is for you. Best in the world is this Friday night, June 19th on pay-per-view. If you don't enjoy sports entertainment and what WWE gives you, if you don't enjoy what TNA gives you, then, or whatever, if you don't enjoy WWE Network and what NXT gives you, and if you don't enjoy Lucha Underground and what they give you, check out Ring of Honor on pay-per-view this Friday night, June 19th, 2015. It's Ring of Honor ROH Best in the World 2015. It's from New York City. I hope... Whoever watched this, I hope you enjoyed this video of my Ring of Honor Best in the World predictions. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't watch it or enjoy it, that's fine. I don't really care. But if you did watch it, thanks for watching. And thanks for supporting and watching my videos. And if you follow me on Twitter, thank you for following me on Twitter. I appreciate it very much. Follow me at TNA WWE Guy on Twitter if you already don't. And I have another account. You can follow me at NXT WWE Guy also on Twitter. I have two accounts. I tweet all the time. Every wrestling live event. Raw, SmackDown, NXT, TNA, uh, pay-per-views. I'm always tweeting about them live. So check out my tweets and follow me if you're on Twitter. If you're not on Twitter, check out all my videos I've done on my YouTube channel. If you do check them out or if you have checked any of them out, thank you very much. Uh, last thing I gotta say, I will be on Twitter during Ring of Honor Best in the World live tweeting the results of the show. So... If anybody else is checking out Best in the World live on pay-per-view while you're on Twitter, check me out on Twitter at TNA WWE Guy for live coverage of Best in the World 2015. Thank you for watching this video, my Ring of Honor Best in the World predictions for 2015. Uh, Best in the World 2015 pay-per-view. Bye for now. Have a good night, everybody. And I hope the Cavaliers come back and go to Game 7.